Alright, hey guys, after I'm home here, so by popular demand, I'm doing a iPod Touch 2G jailbreak um, video. Uh, so I'm going to be using uh, Quick Freedom, the newest version. Um, so, okay, let's get into the how to. So, first of all, obviously, you're going to need a 2G jailbroken um, iPod Touch 2G, um, just to prove. Yeah, and then you're going to need Quick Freedom and um, the custom firmware, which are all in the links there. And um, the custom firmware is provided by tylevenhelp.com. So thanks for that. So um, here's the main screen of Quick Freedom. Um, we're obviously going to hit Jailbreak iPod. Hit that. Um, then you're going to have to install libusb just by hitting install usb there. Then you're going to have to browse for your firmware. Um, mine is here. Just hit that, and then it'll copy it. Okay, so once it's finished um, copying, you need to hit next down here. Um, and here's the step here. Uh, hit click installer. Um, don't use a custom boot logo. Okay. Um, and also, uh, do not click create a firmware. Do not click that because we've already got one created. So you're going to want to hit next. And then you're going to have to put. Okay, so now we're going to put it into DFU mode. Just follow the instructions at the top of the screen, it's really easy. I'm doing this by the way. Then you just want to hold the home button for 30 seconds. Right, then we can release our buttons, and here we go. So um, then it's going to automatically turn your screen white once you've done this. This is normal, don't worry. And then it's just going to do a few things and start the pre-jailbreak. As you can see here, and this may take uh, a few minutes to do. And then it's going to apply the red snow patch. Okay, and we have successfully been put into pre jailbreak mode, and then we're going to go into iTunes once you've done this. You want to go um, shift click restore, so you do shift and uh, click, and search for where you've put um, it. And um, the one we're going to restore with is called Custom 221. That's uh, the one that we've already downloaded from the sidebar. And it's going to do extracting software. Okay, and now it's going to say preparing iPod for a start. And you're going to get this custom boot logo, which is already installed in the custom um, 221 firmware. And then once that's done, you're going to get obviously the normal um, restore mode where it just loads that back up. So I'll join you again once it's finished downloading. Okay, so after it's done um, restoring, you'll get this boot logo and it'll be like this for about 40 seconds and this is pretty normal. I'll go like that and then you should have your newly jailbroken iPod Touch 2G. Yep, here we are. And just to prove there's install and there's Cydia. So thanks for watching this uh, quick tutorial on how to jailbreak your iPod Touch 2G. Um, if you have any questions don't hesitate to um, ask, feel free to ask them. Um, comment below and also please guys subscribe, it'll really help support my channel. So thanks for watching and yeah.